वेलकम टू माय चैनल एनालिसिस होल द ब्लैक होल टू एक्सप्लोर नॉलेज प्लीज लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब फॉर फर्दर नोटिफिकेशंस इज ब्लाइंडनेस जॉन मिल्टन व्हाट इज द थीम ऑफ ऑन हिज ब्लाइंडनेस द एक्सेप्टेंस ऑफ लॉस एंड द स्ट्रगल टू रिकंसाइल फेथ विद द लिमिटेशंस ऑफ ह्यूमन लाइफ व्हाट इज द सेटिंग ऑफ ऑन हिज ब्लाइंडनेस The poem does not have a specific setting but is a reflection on the speaker's personal experience. What is the tone of on his blindness? The tone of the poem is introspective, contemplative and philosophical. What is the meaning of the title on his blindness? The title refers to the speaker's blindness which is the central focus of the poem. What is the speaker's attitude towards his blindness in the poem? The speaker is initially resigned to his blindness but eventually comes to accept it as part of God's plan. What does the speaker mean by they also serve who only stand and wait? The speaker is suggesting that even those who are unable to actively participate in life like himself can still serve a purpose in God's plan. What does the speaker mean by patience then to prevent that mama soon replies The speaker is suggesting that patience is necessary to prevent complaining about one's fate and that acceptance of one's limitations is key to peace of mind. What is the speaker's relationship with God in the poem? The speaker struggles with his faith in God but ultimately comes to accept his blindness as part of God's plan. What does the speaker mean by doth God exact day labor like denied? The speaker is questioning whether God expects him to work as hard as he did when he had his sight even though he is now blind. What is the significance of the line when I consider how my light is spent? The line highlights the speaker's struggle with his loss of sight and how it has affected his ability to serve God. What is the significance of the line and that one talent which is dead to hide? The line refers to the speaker's fear that he will not be able to use the talent God has given him due to his blindness. What does the speaker mean by my soul more bent to serve there with my maker? The speaker is suggesting that his blindness has made him more determined to serve God and fulfill his purpose. What is the speaker's mood at the beginning of the poem? The speaker is despondent and resigned to his fate. What is the speaker's mood at the end of the poem? The speaker is accepting of his blindness and feels a sense of peace. What is the significance of the line thousands at his bidding speed? The line refers to the many people who serve God and highlights the speaker's feeling of inadequacy in comparison. What is the significance of the line they also serve who only stand and wait? The line suggests that even those who are unable to actively participate in life can still serve a purpose in God's plan. What is the significance of the line yet I argue not against heaven's hand or will? The line highlights the speaker's acceptance of his blindness as part of God's plan. What is the significance of the line and that one talent which is dead to hide lost with me useless? The line refers to the speaker's fear that he will not be able to use the talent God has given him due to his blindness. What is the speaker's definition of God's law? The speaker's definition of God's law is that it is not harsh or grating but gentle, kind and easy. What is the speaker's relationship with time in the poem? The speaker sees time as a precious commodity that he has lost due to his blindness. and he worries that he has not made good use of the time he had what is the significance of the line and that one talent which is dead to hide lost with me useless the line refers to the speaker's fear that he will not be able to use the talent god has given him due to his blindness what is the significance of the line they also serve who only stand and wait The line suggests that even those who are unable to actively participate in life can still serve a purpose in God's plan. 
What does the speaker mean by God doth not need either man's work or his own gifts? The speaker is suggesting that God does not rely on humans to fulfill his purposes and that humans should not measure their worth based on what they can do for God. What is the significance of the line, who best bear his mild yoke, they serve him best? The line suggests that those who willingly submit to God's will and follow his commands are the most faithful servants. What does the speaker mean by his state is kingly? The speaker is suggesting that God's sovereignty is absolute and that he rules over all things, including the speaker's blindness. What does the speaker mean by his service is perfect freedom? The speaker is suggesting that serving God is not a burden, but rather a source of liberation and fulfillment. What is the significance of the line they also serve who only stand and wait? The line suggests that even those who are unable to actively participate in life can still serve a purpose in God's plan. What is the significance of the line, what best is boarded me, to mischief I speed? The line refers to the speaker's fear that his blindness will lead him to cause harm or make mistakes. What is the speaker's attitude towards his own mortality in the poem? The speaker is accepting of his own mortality and sees it as a natural part of life. What is the significance of the line they also serve who only stand and wait? The line suggests that even those who are unable to actively participate in life can still serve a purpose in God's plan. What does the speaker mean by one talent is dead to hide? The speaker is suggesting that he feels a sense of responsibility to use the talent God has given him, even though his blindness may make it difficult. What is the significance of the line dot God exact day labor, light denied? The line refers to the speaker's fear that God expects him to work as hard as he did when he had his sight, even though he is now blind. What is the significance of the line they also serve who only stand and wait? The line suggests that even those who are unable to actively participate in life can still serve a purpose in God's plan. What is the speaker's attitude towards his own limitations in the poem? The speaker struggles with his limitations but ultimately comes to accept them as part of God's plan.